What's going on guys? It's Michael from GPRisers.com and today we're going to go over T-Rex Miner's new update 24.2. I wanted to do an update after our last video, which was on the 3070Ti rig build. T-Rex Miner came out with uh, this new version 24.2 about a day after we filmed that video. So since that whole video was on the 3070Ti, which is, you know, an LHR card, uh, T-Rex Miner 24.2 does affect the profitability directly. Now on the screen, you can see some of the changes here in T-Rex 24.2. The first bullet point here is the Auto Lycos LHR unlock functionality, which for those of you not aware, Auto Lycos is the algorithm for Ergo. Now this T-Rex miner automatically enables LHR mode, whereas 24.0, you had to enable LHR mode. Now, along with the LHR being defaulted on this update, it also has an LHR tune that will tune the card. And by tuning the card, it'll find the best value for the highest hash rate. Now, I've seen a lot of articles uh, it kind of explaining this update as a full 100% unlock of the card. And that is not true. The, the theory behind the full 100% is that you'll be able to dual mine on this now. So with this new version, you can dual mine both Ethereum and Ravencoin and Ethereum and Ergo. So in today's video, we're going to be mining Ethereum a standalone in 24.2, along with Ethereum and Ergo, and then Ethereum and Ravencoin. So I don't wanna make this video too long. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So for this video and testing, I'm going to be applying more conservative overclocks than as usual. I'm going to go ahead and bump the power limit up to 75%. I'm going to take the core down to zero or up to zero. I'm going to keep the core clock uh, stock and memory. I'm going to leave at 1450. I'm going to go ahead and bump the fans up here. You should be able to see it in the webcam. I'm going to keep them at 80% and let's click apply. So I can hear the fans ramping up now. Let's go ahead and get to testing. So right off the bat, let's just run the batch file for Ethereum. Now I've kind of been having trouble where when I'm remoted into the computer, uh, it does uh, hinder the hash rate. Um, I believe a capture card will fix that. So I'm working on that now, but I think we should be okay for this. So as you can see, the 3070 Ti is pulling uh, much more wattage than it does with the 60% power limit. I don't really want to exceed the power limit here because I am powering the card uh, by a single splitter. So for testing purposes, I'm going to leave it right around this amount. All right, so we've been running this for about five minutes now. Um, we did get to a hash rate of 57.28. Uh, we did have to remote out of the test bench in order to get that. And it looks like when we remote back in, it senses an LHR lock and it has some issues, but then it eventually goes back and unlocks the LHR. So that's kind of an interesting thing to see. But I can confirm that this does get around 57 to 58 mega hash uh, steady rock solid. So for the sake of just mining Ethereum, we're going to go with 57.5. I'll close that out. I did make this Excel here. I'm going to fill this in as we go. Uh, let's do 57.5 mega hash there. So for this video, I'm not gonna include the electricity costs. I just wanted to get a overall number of what this is bringing in, not including electricity costs. So now that we have 57.5 here, let's minimize this. And we can go into T-Rex Miner right here. And you can see they have a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, right here are the LHR unlock dual mining modes. Now you can see here they have ETH Conflux, ETH Ergo, ETH Raven. I'm not going to do Conflux. I'm just going to stick with Ergo and Raven. So let's go ahead and start mining Ethereum and Raven. So as you can see here, we are unable to mine Ravencoin. There is not enough VRAM on the card. So let's cancel out of that. Let's go to our Excel and I'm going to go ahead and just remove this column. So let's go ahead and try ETH and Ergo. So we have this up now. Um, again, like I said before, I'm going to remote out of the test bench and let this run for about five minutes so that we have some solid numbers to run. All right, guys, we've been running this for about four minutes now. Now it's dropping a little bit here, uh, but we were able to get around 26 mega hash on Ethereum and around a 130 on Ergo. So I'm gonna plug those numbers in here about 26 and about 130 on Ergo. So at this point, I'm going to pull up what to mine. Now I made everything a little bit bigger. Hopefully it's easier to see. Um, on what to mine here, let's just go ahead and get a raw number for Auto Lycos for 130 mega hash. So if we have 130 mega hash on Auto Lycos, we can scroll down here to Ergo and we can see right here 
it's two dollars and twenty five cents before electric. So you could also use nice hashes stratum, which nets you a dollar ninety three. For the sake of the video, we're going to be assuming that we're mining ergo direct. So let's go ahead and put two dollars and twenty five cents in here. Now let's go back to what to mine. Let's calculate out what Ethereum is with 26 mega hash. Click calculate. Now let's scroll down to Ethereum, which right here is $1.82. That brings us to $4.07 per day if you're dual mining Ethereum and Ergo. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for 57 and a half mega hash. We do 57.5 calculate that is four dollars and two cents so let's go ahead and plug that into here four dollars and two cents so the difference in dual mining ethereum and ergo and just mining ethereum straight is five cents now i think that the hash rates for ethereum and ergo uh, will remain the same if i lower the power limit but to maintain 57 and a half mega hash on ethereum we can drop the power limit down to 60%, which brings the total draw of the card to 200 watts, which is lower than what it's doing right now. But regardless, a five cent difference in profitability. Now in T-Rex 24.0, um, you can look in my other videos on the 3070 Ti's, they were mining Ethereum at around 53 and a half mega hash. So T-Rex Miner 24.2 gave a boost even if you're mining Ethereum just by itself. So it is definitely worth the upgrade if you haven't done so already. So if you were to dual mine, the profitability difference is going to be 1.3%. And that's 1.3% if you were mining Ethereum all by itself. And this is also taking into account mining Ergo directly. So you're not using nice hashes stratums and being paid out in Bitcoin. So unless you're hodling Ergo, um, I really don't think that you'll be able to exchange ergo for you know less than 1.3% into any other coin that you want. And so for that reason, I'm going to be leaving all my LHR cards mining Ethereum by itself. And when 24.2 came out, I believe that it might have been more profitable when people were running the numbers. So for all of those reasons, I will be leaving my LHR cards mining Ethereum directly. Um, you can see here the hash rates drastically dropped because I am remoted in. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, but it is nice that T-Rex Miner has this option for miners. I think this is just another step forward, like many that we've had in the past, to fully unlocking the potential of these LHR cards. So that said, I still am accumulating as many 3070 Ti's as I can, but in the meantime, I will be taking this 3070 Ti off the test bench into a rig with five others, and the next card we will be testing is a RTX 3090. So that said, let me go ahead and get to taking apart this test bench and getting a 3090 put on. I wanted to create this video real quick to go over T-Rex 24.2, and I hope that it was useful for some of you guys. I did not expect the uh, dual mining Raven coin thing not to work out right away. Uh, I, I completely forgot the, the memory allocation that's uh, required for Ravencoin. So I will probably be testing that out with the 3090. We will have 24 gigabytes of VRAM to mess around with. But again, hit that like button if you guys like what you saw. Subscribe. We have some exciting content coming up. I know we're back in the home studio here uh, going over the test bench right over there. But in uh, mid-November to the end of November, we have some exciting news to share with you guys. That said, make sure to subscribe. We're going to have a lot of good content. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day. And we'll see you guys next time.